Asturias welcomes you. Once you see its mountains over the sea, they will start feeling like home. Because Asturias is a friendly and inviting land whose people like to share everything that is good about the region with their guests. The Asturian landscape is mostly rural, from its coasts to its mountains. It is a natural environment that is blessed with abundant water, creating a thick green scenery that catches the eye of the visitor. It comes as no surprise then that Asturias has six sizable areas that are part of the World Network of Biosphere Reserves of the UNESCO. The slogan of the region for tourism has been for several years Asturias, Natural Paradise, a perfect place for those who enjoy life and activities in a natural environment. The human community that lives in this region has inherited a history that dates back from thousands of years ago, and which has been codified in the rocks, the signs and the symbols of an extraordinary cultural heritage. Among this legacy we can find noteworthy examples such as the Paleolithic rock art and the Asturian pre-Romance art, two artistic manifestations that, even if they are separated by thousands of years, exemplify two remarkable highlights of the history of the Asturian region. Alongside that more visible heritage, we can find the ethnography, the folklore, the language and the traditions of the region, like a good broth in which the ingredients of a good stew are immersed. A noteworthy example of the ethnographic heritage is the Oreos, traditional elevated barns. A very important manifestation of the Asturian culture is the Asturian language, also called Babylon. In both cases, Oreos and Babylon continue to survive as best as they can in a world that tends to standardize and put aside what are sometimes true cultural and heritage treasures. Another astonishing aspect of the Asturian culture that the visitor must not miss is its rich gastronomy. Asturias has a cuisine full of flavor that runs in the same lines as the menus and foods common in the north of Spain. Its most famous dish is the zapata, a stew made from beans, bacon, chorizo and blood sausage. This definition, however, does not manage to capture all the qualities of a dish that can be a banquet in itself, especially if it's accompanied by the typical drink of the region, the cider. There will be some people who still have room for a dessert of rice pudding and, if they're lucky enough to stay in the region for some time, they will be able to taste many other foods, seafood and desserts myriad of candies, liquors, and even the wine that the region produces, named Wine of the Land of Cangas. If Asturias has always been considered a welcoming land, it is because it has always been a land of emigrants, but also the destination of many immigrants throughout its history. If Asturias has made a name for itself for being hospitable, it is probably because its people are. Its personality is based on the simplicity of the best rural tradition of the region, with the honesty that is usually attributed to the landscape of the north of Spain, an acid sense of humor and a touch of nostalgia perhaps related to that emigrant tradition. In these latest years, the population of Asturias has been focused on the urban environments of mid-sized settlements, at least if they are compared to other cities in Spain. They are quiet and comfortable places to live in, small enough to be traversed on food, but which also offer all the services, culture and leisure for the modern times. The most populated cities in the region are Oviedo, the capital city, Gijón, the most populated city, and Aviles, the heart of the industry. These cities may be the most recognizable ones for someone from outside the region, 
but there are also many other places that are famous for diverse reasons. Langreo, Mieres, Pola de Sierra, Pola de la Viana, Pola de Elena, Grado, Candaz, Cangas de Norcea, Vila Viciosa, Luanco, Norenia, Pravia, and countless small towns that are living treasures of the best and most genuine elements that the region has to offer. Llanes, Riba de Sella, Lastras, Cangas de Nis, Nava, Cudigero, Huarca, Navia, Salas. In this last town, 500 years ago, a character that made a significant contribution was born. The priest Fernando Valdez Salas bequeathed part of his fortune to the foundation of the University of Oviedo, an institution that is today the main reference of the academic, researcher and cultural life of the region. Asturias is scattered with special places, magical beaches, magnificent mountains. But if only one of them has to be brought up, the one that instantly comes to the minds of both Asturian people and visitors alike is Covadonga, a place with several different meanings and charged with a great deal of national identity. For some, it is a place of religion, incarnated in the figure of the Virgin of Covadonga, known in Asturias as La Santina. For others, it is the cradle of the Spanish national identity due to the legendary event of the Battle of Covatonga that began the reconquest of Spain. But for everyone, it is a beautiful natural location, a true gem in the national park of the peaks of Europe. Asturias is all of this and much more. It is one of the 17 Spanish autonomous communities. It has been a principality since the Middle Ages and every year in Oviedo, the ceremony of the Prince of Asturias Awards takes place, a celebration that is closely tied to the inheritor of the Spanish crown. Asturias has a bright future ahead and is prepared to face the challenges that it may bring while offering its visitors an endearing destination that may feel like home for them.